you're participating in this course, it's likely you're involved in OSHA reporting and recording. And I'm sure you're aware some of the rules have just changed. OSHA revised 29 CFR 1904 in this record keeping and reporting. These changes went into effect on January 1st, 2017. Essentially, OSHA is now requiring employers to electronically submit the union notice information they are already keeping records of. There are, of course, specifics associated with the rule change. To begin with, if you employ more than 250 employees and your organization currently maintains OSHA records, you're required to electronically submit OSHA Form 300A, but not 300 or 301. Employers with between 20 and 249 employees are also required to electronically submit Form 300A if they are classified as being in high-risk industries. In addition, the rule change institutes three provisions to protect employees and encourage them to report injuries and illnesses to their employers. First, employers must inform employees of their rights to report work-related injuries and illnesses free from retaliation. Second, company procedures for reporting injuries and illnesses must not deter employees from reporting. And third, employers may not retaliate against employees for reporting workplace illnesses. Here are a few more things you need to know about this rule change. You've got to note that the revised rule does not change how employers keep or store records. It simply adds electronic submission of the data to the current process. Since 2019, the yearly deadline for electronic submission is March 2nd. When it comes to submitting the information, employers have options. You can manually enter the data into an online form, you can upload a CSV file, or you can transmit the data electronically via an application programming interface. Now you might be wondering how this information will be used. The new process will simplify how OSHA makes data public on their website. Releasing data in an open, searchable format will make it easier for researchers to identify and reduce workplace hazards, help keep employers accountable and encourage prioritization of worker safety, and assist in OSHA's evaluations of government safety programs and activities. OSHA believes this new initiative will improve workplace safety by better providing timely access to information. The more safety is prioritized, the safer employees will be.